All right, welcome back today, guys. I wanted to uh, start another episode off today by just asking that if you like the content, that you give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, it would be always appreciated. But today, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about starters, okay? This is the, the lifeblood of what gets your engine going. This is a starter out of a Robinson R44. And uh, on today's episode, I wanted to take a few minutes and just talk through what, it, what the starter does how it works, how it engages in the engine, what makes it turn, um, just a little bit of information about it. I'll sh also show you how it uh, is mounted to the engine, where it sits uh, relative to the engine, and uh, just hopefully you get to learn something new that might uh, someday help you if you have an issue with your engine. All right, so follow along and let's have a look at how this works. see here as I have the grounding cable attached to the case that's going to ground the whole starter. Now as I apply 24 volts to this lead you're going to see the Bendix is going to jump out and it's going to remain out until I remove power again. So when we start the engine we press the starter button it initially kicks that Bendix out to engage it with the ring gear that you can see here and then moments later, or a split second later, I should say, uh, the power gets activated to the starter, which is this. And it's that that spins the engine over then. It's turning that big ring gear at a, at a reduced uh, RPM. So what actually happens when we press the starter button is we initially, so first, Bendix comes out. Okay, so and what actually happens is when the engine RPM uh, overruns the speed of the starter, instead of that Bendix being out, it will actually kick the Bendix back in because the RPM of the engine is faster than the starter. And so it automatically, once it exceeds the RPM of the engine or of the starter, it will kick that Bendix back in in order to avoid it cooking the starter. So what you want to make sure you do is you avoid pressing the starter button, kicking the Bendix out, letting go, and then pressing the button again. Because what happens is as that Bendix kicks out, the second time, it'll chip off a tooth from the ring gear. I hope this helped. I hope to help you understand a little bit more about starters. I want to start uh, providing a little bit more content like this. Just short uh, informational pieces about uh, different parts of the aircraft, um, systems and how they operate, um, some tips and tricks on how to fly. So hopefully you like this content and if you do, uh, once again, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe and I'd love to provide more, more content for you. Have a great day.